gonna wipe something off your butt. Top of the morning, friends and family. How are you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? I've got my nephew in town today. Hi. This is Mr. Chase. And Chase is actually gonna be helping us film today. I told you in the last video that we're gonna be doing some snake yoga. And actually later this week, uh, Chase and I will be going out to try and find some rattlesnakes in the wild together. Fine. So, What do you think about that, Two Shoe? I'm pretty excited to do this yoga episode and we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about it in a second. But first I wanted to pull down one of the snakes that was requested that we do the snake yoga episode with. And I'll explain why we're not doing that. <laughs> so Halo certainly would have been a good option because she's a very gentle snake. However, she's quite huge. She also happens to be Hillary's namesake who Hillary is our model today for the snake yoga because she's a certified yoga instructor. And uh, this is her, her namesake snake. But this would be kind of a challenge because A, we got kids that are gonna be running around while we're trying to film. B, um, I, I sometimes do snake yoga with Halo because I've got a little bit more muscle mass than Hillary and it's a little less of a challenge, but it's already a challenge enough to try and do snake yoga with a snake that's not as big as Halo. So maybe at the very end, you guys will get to see me try and do snake yoga with Halo. But for Hillary, we're gonna use Buttercup, which is kind of like Halo Junior in a way, so. Is that, the camera getting heavy yet, Chase? Yeah, a little bit. You want to hold the camera, T? Yeah. That's kind of heavy for you. Can you take a picture of this? All right, here you go. You yeah. got it? Yeah. Can you take sure? a picture? Yeah. So I've been thinking about snake yoga for a while, actually, for quite some time. Mm -hmm. And I've done it a little bit with the snakes myself. Mm -hmm. I'm a decently practiced yoga person. Mm -hmm. You were the perfect person because you are a, a yoga, a licensed yoga instructor. Certified. Certified. You can't really get a license. You can't get a license, okay. So you're a certified yoga instructor. We also grew up with a fear of snakes. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of like the perfect combo <laughs> for me. Yeah. But, but the idea, was that when you're doing yoga, it's kind of very internal, right? You're mm -hmm. very much a self-practice, focusing on your breath, focusing on yourself and your body. Mm -hmm. So introducing another life form into the process to me would add a level of challenge. So mm -hmm. a, a beginner in yoga wouldn't necessarily want to attempt snake yoga. It'd be somebody who's already fairly well practiced in yoga. I think that's learned to focus on themselves during their practice and is maybe ready for the next step. You know, stand up paddle board yoga. I've heard of goat yoga. Yeah. I, I don't know what that's all jump about. Jump on your back. And is that what happens? <laughs> <laughs> yoga for everything. Now there's snake yoga. <laughs> and also for me, like... Maybe it's already a thing. Maybe. Have you looked? That if snake yoga is a thing? Yeah. It may be. Maybe, I mean, I'm sure somebody's thought of it before. I can't, I'm not gonna take credit for right. the I mean, original it's... idea. I didn't see it anywhere else. For me, holding snakes has always been a moment of self-reflection and like when, when you're just sitting with the animals, kind of like a yogic practice to me. That's mm -hmm. how it's always been for me, handling mm -hmm. a snake. And so that's kind of the other idea behind incorporating the snake is that having that same energy, but trying to add something other than just sitting. Like I always say when I'm telling somebody they're holding a snake for the first time, I say, just do your best uh, tree impression, mm -hmm. which is why I had you do tree pose. He's like, that's like the perfect position for right. holding a snake. and. Be like a tree. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And, and that's a little easier to just sit still and, and handle Definitely the snake. Definitely easier. Yeah. <laughs> so the other idea is also um, to introduce a new level of enrichment for the snake, you know, versus mm -hmm. climbing out outside on a tree, a literal tree like I do from time to time. Having that bond between you and the snake and learning a little bit more instead of the snake just like sitting on you as a still mm -hmm. thing, introducing the movement and 
kind of increasing that bond between human and reptile. Right. And them kind of learning, especially since you're going through those uh, sun salutations, mm -hmm. they kind of learn a repetition of your movement, how your body works, how mm -hmm. your arms and legs work, mm -hmm. and getting more used to you. And where the safe places to hold on are. Right, right, right. Yeah. So it's, so it's, I see it as a mutually beneficial experience mm. for a captive kept snake and the keeper. Yeah. How did it feel for you? That's the first time you've done anything like that, right? Yeah. Um, it was, it was cool because it like forced me to pay really close attention to my body mechanics and like learning how to, uh, change a pose up so that, you know, obviously I could be, have the snake on me, but like by, but also not compromising my body, you know? So like not doing something that could potentially hurt me just because I'm trying to do a pose while not hurting the snake. You know what I mean? So like shifting the poses so that it's still benefiting me, but it's also not gonna hurt, harm the animal and it's not gonna injure me. Like when I was going down into Chaturanga, like I couldn't really do it because I, when you go down, you squeeze your arms into your body, but I had a snake on my arm. <laughs> So I had to like kind of, so I realized that like, okay, this is probably not the best move to do with the snake right there. Cause I didn't, you don't want to go down like all the way one side, you know, you just have to keep the integrity of the pose so that you don't get injured. Um, and then, yeah, just, it's like another level of, you know, like if you're practicing outside and it's really windy, it's just like another level of, of a sort of distraction when you're trying to get balanced and find your center. And so it just kind of forced me to um, figure out like, okay, how can I do this with this moving creature on me? <laughs> and it's much different than like acro yoga where you know with another human, you can't talk to the yeah, snake and tell Yeah, I can't say, okay, it. snake, now go around my waist so that I can do down dog. <laughs> kind of had to just like improvise, you know, like with what worked, like when I was doing the, Eagle arms, usually you do that with your legs too, but I couldn't cross my legs because she was around both my legs. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, okay, we're just good. And just doing the arms is great for your shoulder opening and, um, and you're still in that squat. So you're still, you know, using, engaging your muscles and your core. So yeah, it was pretty cool. <laughs> Uh, okay, I guess we're gonna do some one-legged stuff. <laughs> um. <laughs> it was fun for me to film. Yeah. It's certain, and, and just the whole, have, watching the idea come to physical reality, yeah. and, and it's cool. <laughs> I never thought to do that, and it's... It's gonna be a different experience every time. I mean, it's, yeah. and depending on what snake you have, too. Like, if right. you got a ball python, it'll probably just sit around your neck yeah. the whole time. <laughs> Was the only challenge is going well, to be Well, that's why like belly dancers use ball pythons because they just kind of stay on their shoulders. They're not as active as other snakes. I guess some could be, but For, generally not. Yeah, they get their scientific name Python regius, which mm -hmm. means royal python, mm -hmm. because African Western African royalty would would wear them as jewelry because that's how docile they were. Oh, that's right. literally where they got yeah, their that's name. That's why belly dancers, because you'll see belly dancers, they have like a sword on their head or might have something on their head and a snake around them, and they can still belly dance. So I've seen some use, I think, boas as well because they like to oh, hang out up on the tree. But okay. I've never heard of. But but, but ball pythons do will just sit there on you. That's right? you. Yeah. <laughs> that's you. Where? Right <laughs> where? Right the, there. the big Outside? fat Buddha. The yellow Buddha? No. no. Outside? Yeah, the big Buddha. The big yellow Buddha. Oh, is that what I was doing? <laughs> <laughs> is that what I was doing? Yeah. Oh, in my yoga? Or is that what I look like? <laughs> That's what you look like, Mommy. Just so you know. <laughs> I don't know if you have any body dysphoria going on, but that's... Uh... Well, great. <laughs> Maybe a little more snake yoga. <laughs> You'll be 
really happy to know that as soon as I took the snake outside, she let go of a nice big flow of pee. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess that's, I was a little more distracted that she was shedding on me, but I guess. Yeah, I, honestly, I, I knew she was just coming unpleasant. out of shed that she had cleared up and she was ready to start shedding. Okay. I was kind of hoping she would shed on you during oh, the snake. That would have gotcha. been epic, but yeah. um, I guess that um, piano cue means we're done here. <laughs> Well, thank you, Snake, for not peeing on me because that would have definitely changed my mood about snake yoga. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you for being open and awesome to a, a new idea and yeah. be willing to film and put on the internet while doing yeah, it. Yeah, sure, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what'd you guys think? Hey, if you made it this far in the video, please comment down below. Uh, say snake yoga or namaste or whatever you want, I guess. But also make sure to touch that like button or whack it or rub it or the dislike button. We don't care which one, as long as you let us know something about how you feel with a little touch of a button. Snake room fun, let's go. Well, he's gonna try his own snake yoga. Uh, he is old You feel moving like that? Stop being so dramatic. Hey Noah. What? <laughs> what do you know? I know. Okay. He's in cockroaches. <laughs> what about his in cockroaches? That they are really stinky and... No, they're not. <laughs> All right. When you touch one, it makes it a fence noise to scare you off. That's it. Leia, can you make them do it? No. <laughs> See? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna fight Can you stick that guy in? <laughs> All that playing with cockroaches really tucked her out. She's tuckered. She tuckered out. Uh, what have you guys doing today? I hope you have a good one. Namaste, motherfucker.